question 14 on which exercise? 17.2, okay. The height of a cylinder is equal to the length of its diameter. So if we draw this cylinder, so we just do ellipse here, ellipse here. Yeah, draw them slightly up as so we get the gist that this here is a cylinder. Okay. Now, what it says is its diameter uh, d is the same as its height. So let's call it d and d. Okay. Now, what's its radius? Can we tell me in terms of d? Half d, d over two. Now, calculate its height. The height of the cylinder is equal to the length of the diameter. The curved surface area of the cylinder. Okay, so curved surface area, which is 2 pi r h, and that equals 100 pi. And what happens is the pi's will cancel, and what we'll get is 2 times d over 2 times d equals 100. Now what happens to the, uh, the twos? If you multiply by 2, then you divide by 2, you're actually doing nothing, are you? So they can cancel. And what we're going to get is d multiplied by d is d squared. d squared equals 100. Therefore, the height of the object is the square root of 100, which is 10. Anybody get d equals 10? Okay, so that's the first one, d equals 10. Right? Tricky, tricky question, but nothing too bad. Now, number 15. 15. A wine glass is in the form of a hemisphere of radius. Sorry, I'm Sorry. A wine glass is in the form of a hemisphere of radius 4 centimeters as shown. Find its volume in terms of pi. Now, see this part here? That contains no wine usually, so it's not included. You're just talking about the hemisphere. Okay, so let's get the, the volume of a sphere is this what you can get from your uh, tables for a tree pi r cubed the volume of a hemisphere therefore is half the answer for the volume of a sphere so let's find out the volume of the full sphere would be if it was a full sphere uh, find its volume in terms of pi wants me to leave it in terms of pi so anybody for a tree by four cubed anybody Uh, 256 over 3 pi. Now we're going to divide that in half. So that's 2, 256 pi over 3. However, I need it divided in half for the hemisphere. Divide the answer by 2. And you get 128 over 3 pi. Okay, that's the final behind me, sir. Now, a full cylindrical container of wine is just sufficient to fill 21 of these glasses. If the radius of the base of the cylinder is 8, find its height. So, once again, if I draw a cylinder, and the cylinder has a, has a, uh, what's it, a radius of 8. And a height of, we don't know the height, we want to find the height. Now, what we're told about the volume of this cylinder is it's 21 glasses, correct? 21 glasses. Multiply 21 by 128 pi over 3. So my answer of the last question, multiply by 21. And what we get is 896 pi. Now, this equals the volume of the cylinder, correct? What's the formula for the volume of a cylinder? Pi r squared h equals 896 pi. What happens to both sides is the pi's will cancel. The radius is 8 squared. 8 squared h equals 896 
eight nine six. Eight hundred ninety six divided by sixty four. Was it? Get fourteen. The height is fourteen centimeters. Okay.